Our first bout this evening is a Thai boxing bantamweight, three times two minutes round. It's sponsored by Elmius Manager in Washington. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing Ferry Hill Mixed Martial Arts Club, Carl Smashing Machine Joyce. Carl Joyce from Ferry Hill, 16 years old, weighed in at 56 kilos. His height is five foot eight. And his opponent in the red corner, representing Sheldon Phoenix Thai Boxing, Glenn Fowler. Glenn Fowler from Sheldon, 16 years old. 56 kilos, 5 foot 8 inches tall. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Thai boxing bantamweight bout. Three two minutes round. And it's sponsored by Elmwears Management in Washington. In the blue corner, representing Ferry Hill Mixed Martial Arts Club, weighing in at 55.6 kilos, Carl Smashing Machine Joyce. Here's a put in the red corner, weighing in at 55.9 kilos, representing Sheldon Phoenix Thai boxing. Glenn Fowler! Over to referee Trevor Mitchell. Well, Steve, this is the first Thai boxing fight we've actually had on Total Combat. I've heard a lot about both these fighters. So the rules is kicking and punching to the head and body, kneeing just to the body. This is Thai boxing rules. Yeah, I mean, it's three two minute rounds, isn't it, Peter? So, I mean, obviously, you just got to go for it, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. I mean, these, these two young lads You can see the skill there, Steve. You know, the kicking and punching. You know, some very good combinations by two young lads. Yeah, they're both there, uh, really, one at the both pushing the pace. Joyce, at the moment, Steve, seems to be working a little bit harder. This is the th about, well, third time he's caught Fowler, Fowler's leg. Yeah. I mean, do we know much about uh, Carl Joyce? I mean, obviously he's fighting at the Ferry MMA club. Has he done Thai for a long time? Um, I, don't know, I, don't know, I believe Glenn Fowler's had an MMA fight, hasn't he, in the past shows? Yes, he has. Uh, Carl Joyce trains with Aidan Connor. Uh, Aidan Connor, very good kickboxer um, and Muay Thai fighter. I mean, it's good, obviously, to have a have a, a, a Thai fight on in an MMA show. Obviously, to, to warm the crowd up and obviously see some action because there's a lot more, obviously, legs and you know hands going. With there not being much tape down, which some of the crowd will like, I can, I can see. And um, the Thai rules are that, you know, you can take somebody down, but that's where the referee will stop it and stand it back up. So, so I would say that uh, the Fowler, very, very good. 
takedowns, um, also good striking. Yeah, I wonder how the I wonder how the like the work. Obviously, because I'm sure they've got tactics what they'll use when they're fighting in a in a ring. Obviously, now that they're fighting in a cage, I wonder how they find that any different um, compared to fighting in a ring. Yes, that's interesting. Obviously, a good MMA fighter can use the cage to his own advantage. Uh, almost like, well, it is putting Siri up against the fence. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, Thai fighters, I mean, they, they use the ropes to bounce off a lot, and obviously, they're, they're moving away from knees and, and, and things like that, where I wonder how the fine and fight in the cage. I mean, obviously, this cage is quite a quite a big surface area which obviously will help them to move a lot more because they'll have more ground to cover yeah that's right Steve uh, the fight is close Fowler again getting the takedown I think I think it's good having a, having a tie match on because I mean obviously ties are a very important part of MMA you know it's, it's got a lot of strengths in it that, that can help you as, a, as an MMA fighter hasn't it Yes, it certainly has. Um, you know, we all talk about the tie clinch. You know, this is head control. The referee there is one fouler. Was it a foul? Yeah. I mean, the only thing as well, I mean, obviously, if you're learning tie, I mean, you know, good knees there. You know, obviously, they're not using elbows in, in this bout, but I mean, obviously, in, 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 in mop bigger shows they, they do allow elbows but um, I mean obviously you've got to think of the, of the, the fighter's safety but I mean obviously you've got to, you've got to realise as well obviously they're wearing the band like big 10 ounce gloves as well Peter on there obviously you have got to adapt obviously your style of tie to, to the MMA side of it as well haven't you yes you do um, you know there are big gloves on obviously they both are juniors that's why there's no elbows allowed and I think for their age Steve you know, they want to test the skills, but the bony part of the elbow can cause some damage. And we've seen it many times in MMA shows, haven't we? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the only reason why we, why we stopped elbows is purely and simply because it, elbows split, the split faces, and nobody wants to obviously lose a fight to a, to a split, do they? Yes, that's right. Um, Joyce doing well, but I think Fowler looks very strong there, Steve. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's the end of the, the second round. Obviously a two-minute round. Um, they're both giving as good as they're getting. I mean, obviously, you know, Fowler is getting a few more takedowns, I must say that. Well, this is the final round, Steve. Still could go in either way. Um, Joyce doing well but I think Fowler just working a bit harder especially with his takedowns well I think that's what counts I mean obviously when you're in here I mean obviously it does go to the judges decision it is who's pushing the pace the most who's getting the obviously the most shots off obviously have you said the takedowns as well seconds away the referee there, what, obviously one in the corner men that they've got 10 seconds left before the fight starts. I'd imagine they're both going to come out banging now with it being the last round, do you think, Peter? Yeah, I certainly think so. As I've already said, this, this could be anybody's fight. Um, I think Joyce just needs to step up the pace a little bit more. Round three. Good kick there by Fowler. Good body shot. Spin and back kick. Yes, very skillful for, for, for young fighters. If there's no work rate when they have got hold of each other, the referee will split it up, which, which you can see is just done there. Yes, Fowler, very slick there, Steve. Good attempt of a Superman punch. Yeah, Joyce, Joyce working with his kicks. 
Another, another, exam, another yeah. excellent take down. You just feel that Joyce needs to get his kick back down the floor, if that makes sense, Steve. Yeah, he's keep getting them caught, isn't he? He is, you know, he needs to snap that back, you know, a faster recoil. Well, I... Yeah, I, I know what you're going to say, I would give it to Fowler as well at the moment, but obviously I'm not the judge. Yeah, Joe's doing some good combinations and he needs to put those together. I just think maybe his Fowler's obviously, you know, he, he's ranked up the, up the points now, you know. I think Joyce will really have to do something special. I might be wrong to win this fight now. Whoa. That could have taken his head off that stage. Yes, it looks like Fowler wants it, um, wants it close. Good sportsmanship at the end. Well, I think that was a very good technical Muay Thai fight, Steve, or Thai boxing fight. I think these corner men think he's won it already, do you think, Peter? Yes, I think they do. Full two minute round, your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Glenn Fowler. Let's see if his opponent, Mr. Carl Joyce.